Okay, a lot of people have been waiting for this one. And now, Toyota Motor Philippines has finally brought in that very car, the GR86. So Toyota Motor Philippines has now invited us for a preview slash short drive of the GR86. Come on, let's take a look at what's up and what's new. This is Cap Maceda Aguila. Welcome to Uncap. the 86 but now Toyota's calling it GR86 GR of course means Gazoo Racing and that uh, in essence uh, encapsulates the motorsports aspirations of the brand uh, which is supplanting also Toyota Racing development but that's for another story but right now we're in the here and now and we're very excited to be testing this out before it officially launches and who better to be talking to us about this beautiful vehicle right here than Mr. Nico Brabante, Toyota Motor Philippines Vice President for Product Planning. Thank you very much, Nico, for being with us Most today. Welcome. Yeah, and we have a bunch of questions and you're just the guy to answer them, I'm sure. Okay, number one. Ano ba yung mga highlights natin? What are the highlights of okay. the new um, GR86? Now, um, let me start it off by saying the front looks very different. Correct. Uh, what are the new things about this one compared to the first generation? Okay. Um, it's basically an all-new model. Uh, it has a much bigger platform. It has a new engine. It's now a 2.4 displacement engine as compared to a 2.0 before. And then uh, the design is very much, uh, much more sportier than before. Uh, the stance also, if I may maybe call it, it's much longer uh, and much lower. Okay. So even a much sportier stance as okay. compared to before. Now I know the wheelbase is longer, right? Yes. And yes. it, yeah, and you said it's lower also. I think the width is the same. Width is the same as okay. the previous generation. Yes. So what does the wheelbase, the increased wheelbase, um, do for the for the inside of the cabin or even how it drives? Um, for performance, it's more stable basically, uh, but still keeping the agile uh, characteristics of the previous generation. And then uh, for interior, uh, well. The wheelbase has been lengthened, but at the same time, also some improvements in terms of space, uh, interior-wise. Okay. Now, the face, uh, definitely, I must say right away, of course, you know it's a GR86 because, hello, there's the GR logo <laughs> right there, uh, which is very nice, of course. But, uh, Nico, I can see also that the headlamps are different now, and even the, the grille looks different. Like, what, what, what are the styling... Um, differences between this and the first generation as far as the front fascia is concerned okay um, the concept uh, is much sportier and advanced as a concept overall concept so now there's new headlamps uh, drl and also led and then much wider uh, front fascia stronger appearance in terms of uh, and making it also even more sportier uh, as you can see the bonnet has been uh, much longer as compared to before also Okay, now of course, you're talking about the bonnet. Uh, what's underneath there is different and you alluded to that earlier also. It has a more powerful engine. Correct. It has a 2.4 uh, liter engine, um, which of course gives it more uh, horsepower yes. and uh, torque. That also means, correct me if I'm wrong, that it goes faster from 0 to 100, uh, less by 1.1 seconds. Correct, so correct. If, yes, I'm not, correct. if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so... Um, now, uh, bef let's get this out of the way. A lot of, um, this is now the third GR model for, mm -hmm. for Toyota. Uh, what do you think the GR um, um, prefix uh, means for the 86? Why did Toyota give it the GR treatment? And what does it mean when you say now that it's a GR86? Okay. Um, the design philosophy of Gazoo Racing has always been functional and uh, beauty. So everything has a purpose. That is the philosophy of Gazoo. So if, uh, for this new generation, everything that has been placed here, including the design, even the character lines, all has a purpose. So it's functional beauty, basically, is what they call it as a design uh, 
tagline or okay so it's not just there for beauty sake or correct, you know there's correct. also now that you also mentioned it let's let's walk around the vehicle sure, now. Sure. now i know one of the things that's different in the on, in the all new gr86 is that it has vents for the wheel arches can you tell me about that like here and then on the side as well is that it, going back to your point that it's not just uh, a beauty element mm. or a design element Yep. It's both for aerodynamics and braking performance. Oh, okay. So the airflow um, contributes to, to that. Uh, better airflow and outward movement of the wind and also helps in cooling the brakes. Tell us about the wheel. The wheel is now 18 as compared to 17 inch of the current generation. So um, it's uh, running on Pilot Sport uh, wheels. So th those are standard? Yes, the... yes, yes. Okay, okay. Now, uh, let's get this out of the way also. There's a manual, the six-speed uh, manual and the six-speed automatic, Correct. which we have here uh, in red. So let's go around the vehicle. This one also is more pronounced now. So many rocker yes, panels. Yes. Yeah. The character lines, uh, everything that they've learned uh, from the GR models uh, and also from motorsports experience uh, have been incorporated already uh, in all of our GR models, especially this one. Okay, now we go to the rear where there's a lot of um, changes as well. Uh, well, from specifications, we now are adopting full LEDs uh, for the rear combination lamp. As you can see, the spoiler is also very much integrated already in the body design and the character, basically to improve the overall aerodynamics as well. And um, well, the stance, the overall design philosophy also is to make it more wide, uh, sportier and looks even wider and lower. That was uh, the concept behind the design. Now we'll also take a look at the other tech features as well as the cabin when we go around for a ride with, with Nico. All right, so see you later. All right, we're aboard the GR86. Again, I'm with uh, Nico Provante, uh, Vice President of the Automotive Philippines in charge of product planning. And he knows everything there is to know about the GR86. So first off, uh, okay. what's new? inside the, the, the GR86. and yung mga uh, elements na binago from the first okay. game? Well, uh, given we we'll already have a new design dashboard and then the speedometer also, uh, we have the 7-inch uh, TFT MID and then uh, from aside from the new design of the speedometer, we also have the new infotainment 8-inch um, in terms of um, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so we're trying to be uh, keeping up with the technology. As well. Oh, great! So these gauges are now all digital because I remember the first gen yes. they were There's analog gauges, correct. right? There was a needle. At the time. Okay. Now I also see a car with the markings on the on either side. Uh, GR Safety Performance Technology. Okay. So uh, now, it, what's included in the suite of, of technologies here? Okay. Safety. Yeah. yeah, it includes the lane departure alert, uh, the pre-crash system, adaptive cruise control, basically the similar specifications as our usual Toyota safety sense, but uh, in a way something different in terms of uh, some technology. What we're seeing is that the GR86 is now a thoroughly modern vehicle. Mm -hmm. It has all of the safety features that you would expect in other sedans lesser sedan, I'm saying lesser sedan because this is a sports car. Yes, that's it's right. essentially Toyota's sports car. Uh, of course, it slots underneath the, the Supra, but in all other aspects, it is a proper sports car. And that's why it's generating a lot of, of uh, interest. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking about it earlier, Nico, how much is the GR86 now? So people okay. know. Uh, we have two variants, uh, the manual, uh, six-speed manual is 2328, while the automatic version, the six-speed auto, is 2499. Two four, so two yes. million four hundred ninety-nine thousand pesos. This is the one that we're on. Yes, that's And right. how many colors does the does the GR86 have? Okay, uh, we have seven colors available. Seven colors. Yes. Okay. Um, being a true GR model, uh, the uh, primary colors that we have for here would be red, the white, and the black. Is there any special color for the GR86? Yes, what we have now is the top of the line, the uh, ignition red. So it's um, versus the standard 2499 price, uh, it is plus 20,000. So this is the. So this this is it? Because, yes. because as you mentioned earlier, this is a GR color. Yes. A signature correct. GR color. 
Now, what I love about the uh, 86, maybe a bit of a review, is that I love, I love the seats. Uh, they're, the bolstering is really good, so I would imagine this would keep me you know, safe and uh, steady, even during dynamic cornering or you know, stuff like that. So, uh, when, when they were conceptualizing this new generation, they wanted to keep the sportiness, uh, even especially during driving and also the performance, but also considered the daily driving aspect uh, of the customer. So they try to improve interior amenities such as comfort, seating, bolster. So those are all included uh, in the consideration. This, of course, is a 2 plus 2 um, sports car. Uh, I don't know if you can see them right now, but we have two passengers <laughs> at the back. They're doing okay. So yeah, it's it, it's uh, a bit tight, but again, uh, the I think the spirit of the vehicle is that it's a um, it's really supposed to be a two seater. I guess the two seats at the back are a concession. Um, you can actually have two kids. Yes, let's call them kids. Na lang. <laughs> we have two kids at the back, and they're pretty happy about the fact that they're aboard a GR86. So there you have it, folks. Nico Brabante of the Automotor Philippines and our children at the back. There's Ken <laughs> and there's Dylan. We'll see you guys soon. All right, there you have it. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed our drive aboard the GR86. But having said that, uh, I know that its proper place would probably be on the track. Is that right, uh, <laughs> Mr. Nico? <laughs> so uh, once again, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, again with Mr. Nico Brabante of Toyota Motor Philippines, first Vice President for Product Planning. Thank you very much. He gave us all the goodies, the good <laughs> stuff about the GR86. And guys, again, when is this going to be um, uh, available for, for purchase mm, to well, the public? We'll start releasing from August 26. There you go, August 26. So mark that on your calendar. The 86 is here and it's in better, badder form because it has a GR right in front of it. Uh, the name, I mean. So there you have it for, for Uncapped. This has been Cap Baseda Aguila. We'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye.